In a few minutes, we will be entering the Delta Serpentis sector. We will then begin the most important engagement in our history. We will fight for the very survival of Earth. The final mission itself. We're just outside Sol Jump Node. The Lucifer is already heading its way there. Alpha and Beta and the Bastion are already en route. It's gonna be tight. Our plan is to rapidly close the distance with the Lucifer so that the Bastion will be able to enter subspace just behind her. Once in subspace, we will attack and destroy the Lucifer. You do realize it has big ass beams, right? Big beams that kill the Galate. Your task will be to provide cover for the Bastion so that it can quickly converge on the Lucifer. That destroyer must be stopped at all costs. Failure is absolutely not an option here, pilots. Good luck. So this is the last mission of the game. And uh, yes, it can be a bit brutal. So, Alpha and Bane are going to leave us the R in terms of fighter craft, but I'm just going to make sure everyone has no Hornets because Hornets are terrible. I don't know why it's going to be Hornets, you sneaky bugger. You almost made me put the other one there. No Hornets. No Hornets. Only Interceptors. Because they're terrible. Who are you? Do you use Banshees? You can't use Banshees. That's a shame. Do you have to use Hornets, though? I don't think you have to. I think you can use, uh... Oh, oh those, really. I hate Hornets. I really do hate Hornets. It's not worth it at all. Alright. There's the Lucifer. It's powering up to leave the system. Alpha 4 already. Oh, we're... Alpha 1, you must clear out these enemy fighters as quickly as possible. We've got to catch up with the Lucifer. Beta Wing has arrived, awaiting order. We're quite far away. Good kill. We're very far away. I'll make sure everyone survives as best I can. I have a feeling the Bastion's not gonna get that far. I don't know, I never had it this far before. You know, at full health? Oh, the Lucifer's already gone. My eyes! Enemy wing has just arrived! Yeah, I know. Oof, Jesus Christ, guys! Oh, <laughs> I thought I was going to hit someone else. Nice. Don't you dare fly at me, you. It's no use. The Bastion will never catch up with the Lucifer. You'll have to go after it yourself, Alpha One. Mm. We're launching four Ursas armed with Harbinger bombs. We can only pray there'll be enough. Delta. We are readying four Toths to help provide cover. As soon as they're ready, we'll deploy them. Heads up! We've got visitors! Right, so we've got to get to... Check your six, pilot. I'm kind of busy. there very quickly. How far away is it? That's so far! You have roughly 10 minutes to reach the jump point. Beyond that, you will not have enough time to defeat the Lucifer. Godspeed, Alpha. Yeah, no pressure. So our job really is to get there as fast as possible. It's just going to have to do as it is, watching the timer as well. 10 minutes. The Bastion, of course, was too far away. Everyone's guarding Delta Wing. Delta is guarding me. <laughs> Enemy Wing has just arrived. Uh, everyone's gonna be after me because I'm the closest. Which is gonna be great. It's really just gonna keep firing and dealing with them until I get there. Check 
Sector six, pilot. I'm out. I get some help. Oh, there they are. They're here now. No one does it. What? Remember lights? What are they doing here? I can't. I really can't. I'm wasting time as it is. I'm closing in, but very slowly. I just just have to keep going for it. Blasting my boost as much as I can. Only I need to get there, which is a good thing. Everyone else will just follow me in the next level. Let's, uh, ooh. Such a shame about the Bastion, though, not be able to catch up to it, but I guess it's kind of expected. It's all that effort to keep... Oh, hello. Oh. Heads up! We've got all that effort to keep the Bastion safe in the last mission really didn't do anything. Oh. Alpha One, the taunts are ready and on the way. Epsilon, okay. Epsilon here. Don't wait for us, Alpha. Keep going. We'll try to catch up with you. That I can do. I got about just over f oh, just over five minutes. I'm almost there. Because I'm closing in quite quickly now. I will say, as final levels go, this this isn't a good build up to it. The next level is quite cool, but this isn't nice. Heads up, we have company. Hello, what? Oh, that's scorpions. Oh, they're all the way back there. I should be okay. Alpha One, you've got about seven minutes left. Hurry! Oh, about seven minutes. Thank you. I'm nearly there, buddy. I can manage it. I just hope they'll throw anything else at me. Nah, they're not after me. Yeah, the other ships have them. Good. Puts a subspace node all the way out here. It takes so long to get to. Boost my engines a bit more. Try to get a bit more power at them. Shut up, Delta Two. We're getting there. Keep quiet. We have no other option, pilot. Hello, what? Woo! That's not friendly. That's prophecy. Oh God. They put a fucking Typhon class in the way. Oh. Bastion will have to deal with it. Oh crap. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. How mean of that to say. You're almost there, Alpha. I know. I know I'm there. <sighs> oh, damn it. I'm there. You've made it, Alpha One. Your jump drives are powering up now. Powering? What? <laughs> Your objective is to destroy the Lucifer. The Lucifer has five reactors located on its main hull. In order to eliminate the Lucifer, these reactors must be destroyed. Oh, that's cool. We have no shields, just like they do, so we should have a slight advantage. All right, everyone. We don't have much time. You've got to take out those reactors ASAP. All right, that we can do. Alpha One, you've got to make sure those Ursas can deliver their payload. Protect them at all costs. We've got a full set of fires there, so we should be okay. As for Delta Wing, it's going to be up to you to take out those reactors. Get it done. We can manage it. We're quite far out. 
The Toph's already going straight for them. Oh, there's some dragons. Ooh, they're different here. Look at them, they're green. Usually red. I guess when they're in subspace, they change, or there's some missing textures. Let's, ooh, interesting. Oh, that's so cool. An eerie. Listen to that sound. Ooh. Oh yeah, I got this. I love toffs. Looks so cool. Oh, they've handled that brilliantly. Holy shit. The best thing we can do is try and knock out some, uh... Oh, was it? Enemy wing just arrived. Can take it out. Ooh. Oh, that thing hurts. Oh, that thing really hurts. Oh dear, that really does hurt. That's weird to be fighting them on even ground now. Delta should be able to handle it, we just have to deal with the uh, fighters. I'm not going to take your turrets though. Oh my god, this turret's invulnerable! Sorry, is the turn not die. I need cool support. No, I can't. <laughs> Enemy wing has just arrived. Hey, I got it. Seven minutes left! Hurry! What? Oh, something hit me. God! What am I stuck on? Acting, uh... Hey, one of his reactors just went. Okay. Epsilon's took a pounding. Reactor 2's gone. He's gone, force down. It's just five now. Whatever that is. Uh, uh, Epsilon one's out. There we go.
know why the Ancient Ones were destroyed, and I know what they knew. I know that if not for the Shivans, they would have perished long before. Without the Shivans, someone would have discovered the Ancient Ones in their infancy, and eliminated them. Just as surely as they eliminated countless billions of others. I believe it is only the Destroyers who are killed. The Shivans are the great Destroyers, but they are also the great Preservers. That is why, when we moved into space, there was no one powerful enough to kill us. Long had we been the Destroyer. Our turn had nearly come. In the Vasudan War, we learned how to adapt. We learned how to study our enemy. We learned how to overcome. We learned how to survive. And so we did. All the jump points from Earth are gone. But the Shivans can rebuild them. I'm told we can expect them again. But not in my lifetime. Such is liberation. So this was an added extra at the end of, uh, oh shit, oh boy, an added extra at the end of, oh, the Freak Space port we have. Everyone made it through, well, somehow Epsilon, Epsilon 1 made it back, but, uh, this is it. Yeah, it's just a credit sort of thing, but it's a, it's a nice addition, honestly. And Leviathan, damn. Holloway. Weapon prototypes. Is that by Hard Like Productions? However, there's a particular problem now. Hang on, what was that? What was that uh, Atlas Atlas class called? The PVC Keck, the Atom class Keck. Oh dear. But honestly, it's been it's a brilliant port, absolutely stunning overall. And I played this a long time ago as well. The port then wasn't as um. I don't want to say as detailed as it is now, but it wasn't as refined as it is now. But this still feels really damn nice. And it's great. Loved it. Absolutely love it. But now there's a particular problem following the uh, little bit of the speech that I'm assuming was Alpha 1. Our character. I have no idea. Um, he's right. There are no jump points back into the sort of main network of subspace. Earth is... The solar system itself is completely cut off. There's no way of accessing it. Ah, this seems we have some more cons to go through later on. I never done Silent Threat, never done Operation Templar. I know it's a sort of DLC add-on, and obviously I've done Free Space 2, but I never did the Silent Threat. So it'll be interesting to go through that. But yeah. It's all touched upon in Free Space 2 as well, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I wouldn't be playing this without that, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, that's where you can. I always link good old games anyway. Great bit of software. Software? Store. Where did I get software from? Well, there's a bit of great bit of software, but you know what I mean. Overall, it's nice. Anyway. That has been Free Space, the Great War. And we're just chilling on the way back. Thank you, yes, thank you for playing. Overall, top notch. Absolutely recommend you play so because it feels it's one these are one of these games that feels different watching and then playing it. I played it first, and it was still a different uh, feeling watching it. At the same time, I was watching another uh, LP of it a while ago. 
because I just had that nostalgia for it. And, uh, yeah. It, it's such a different feeling. I do urge you to play it yourself. If you like these sort of space zones, this is such a good one to go through. We've experienced the whole story, all of its intricacies, but, like I said, it's different. But in a good way. Anyway, everybody. Thank you very much for watching this playthrough. I had a lot of fun doing it. I'm glad to be back. And I will see you in the next playthrough. Have a good one and take care.